unbelievable. Sunday till the sun. He will get again for the far corner. Just a two point lead. Alapar rush in. Reyes and the dog and here goes the free throw line. What a big shot by Zan Bashan. Two in a row. Now Tokyo Texas missed 10 consecutive free throws. But it was a hard foul given up by Barangay Nebra and Mike Aguirre going over there to Brian Reyes. He almost had the layup. But he missed him and he will go to the line. Let's see, Genito. What a turn of events right here. He now has a two last time based on the shot. And he was open for the shot. Matadona, too late to stop that shot from being taken. And you see that beautiful pass coming from Jimmy Alapaz and the miss by Ryan Reyes because of the five foul. Given up by Mark Aguirre. Here's Ryan Reyes with a shot. That breaks a 10 foul shot loose uh, miss streak. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this lead was, was 10 Karina, no? And with all that fouling strategy of Hinebro, they brought it down to 2. Touch free throws by Reyes. And he never will use his last time out back in a moment. Well, the time out for Barangay Nebra, they're now going to rely on talking text calling the timeouts <laughs> for them to be able to talk things over. Gary has taken off his hand, head down. Four point game. Brown attacking, can't make it, can't make it. it it's in the hands of Alapag, and that could be it. Then Brown had a shot. They didn't go for a three-point shot, they wanted to click two. Jenna Brown missing. You know, interesting that they never doubled Brown. And they would have been able to Brown. I think Brown was expecting to be doubled so that he could pass the ball off to the open man. And earlier in the timeout, Brown was saying to Sandy Salvation to set himself up in the corner. Salvation never got the pass. But Chico asking his team if we get the ball, when we get the ball, go for two. Go for two. They're going to time out. But a guy in Ebra. So this is a huge handicap for the Kings. Six points. Brown, Salvation begging for the ball. Brown going up with nothing. Six point lead is read by talking text. Remember, as we mentioned, during uh, the last five games of talking text, which they all won, the average minute winning margin was 19 points. At ngayon, talagang nasusubukan sila ng Bandai Nebra. This lead is six. They've been pushed to the max here. They look well on their way to scoring at least a 10 point win. But Barangay never refused to weld and decided let's try something. This free throw here for Denon Brown. His first game in a Hinebra jersey. 25 points for the import from the University of Connecticut. He played on the NCAA champion team back in 2004. Whoa! Can't make any more 
Charity se l'è lavato di sfalda by Kagiwa tu non è scritto così da Yannick Brown mi he is all fucked up under these uh, conditions but what a run by Baranga in effort to make this game extremely interesting down the stretch down the stretch and Baranga in effort will become if things do not change will become 8 and 6 or top and text will move to the top of the standings at 12 and 2 going into tomorrow's games with still San Miguel set to play going to be A's in our second game tomorrow Alapal, third straight free throw. And a lot of fans all over the Philippines glued to their sets. One fan is watching is Arnold Portugal. And he's enjoying this game. Thank you for watching Bo and Alapal nailing both charities. Time 33 seconds. Kajiwa. This place is hard on the floor here today, and that'll do it. And Parking Tech is just going to beat out the clock. And this is going to be the 11th straight victory for Parking Tech, as Williams trying it from long range. And the streak of the James versus TNT somehow ends. And that, 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 you know, that offensive rebound by Ryan Reyes, that tells you the story of this game. The way Boston Texas dominated the boards in terms of second chance points. They were they had 25 points on second chance points against 16 for Nebra. And what about transition baskets? Huh? 23 fast break points for Boston Texas against 10. Never, despite those big disparity in figures, he never made it really, really close and interesting down the stretch. Okay, unfortunately, we will not be, I think, able to talk with uh, our best player of the game, uh, Jimmy Alapag, uh, because of uh, an injury that he's suffering right now with the cramps here because of, as you said, the conditions we have here. In terms of one for people, no problem. One for venue probably might be the other condition. And Jimmy Alapag, of course, is uh, the choice as the best player of the game, Kinito. Oh, without a doubt, 17 points. And uh, what we don't have is uh, a very old, seven, 21 points rather, and seven assists for Jimmy Alapag, creating a lot of situations for his teammates, making the big shots, the clutch baskets. And boy, our weekend here in the PBA, we're just in the middle of it. We still have big games tomorrow. We return to the Aranata Coliseum, and while we show you the schedule, like to thank Batanga City for being so cordial and hospital. Big games tomorrow, Kinito. Batanga is here versus Eddie Shine. That's always exciting to watch. And the big game, that second game, San Miguel versus Phoenix. Wow, everyone, everybody will look forward to that game. Thank you, Kenito Henson. The team has now opened classes, but this class is closed for now until we open it again tomorrow in behalf of Kenito Henson, Magu Marjan, our production team headed by Rafi Romano, Mike San Juan, and the rest of the gang, and our producer for you, Franco. Thank you for joining us. 92-84, the winning score of Talking Text, and the streak continues. This is the PBA on Solid TV.